Hey, y'all. Welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new. Can you see me? Let's, let's come back here. Hey, y'all. Welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new. My name is Corey. It is 12.27 p.m. If you were to ask me without looking, I'd tell you it was probably 12.27 a.m. I am so tired. I'm so tired. I can't. I'm forcing my way through this right now, but I have to design today, so that's what we're gonna do. As you may or may not know if you've been here before, I prefer to design when the sun is down at night or early in the morning. This is a bad time right now, okay? This is a terrible time. If you watched one of my recent vlogs, I started working on a rebrand or refresh for a smokehouse here in Atlanta called No Skips Smokehouse. It is in Colony Square in Midtown and Palatine Row Food Hall, so it is a small establishment. Um, I'm sure you can imagine what a food hall looks like and what the restaurants in a food hall look like. Um, but they are new to the area and I'm working on basically providing recommendations and some assets for them for them to use whether they want to or not and I'm providing this for free. Um, in my recommendations, I'm including an updated logo or refresh of their current logo. They did build everything themselves so I don't wanna go too far from what their original ideas were. I think in my case that is a benefit although they might not have had rhyme or reason to every single decision that they made it does help to know what your client likes in general and so that was helpful for me so I'm just gonna do a refresh of what they have existing and then incorporate my recommendations so with that I'll be providing an updated logo I will be providing an updated color palette um, some defined type because I don't think they have that established as of right now um, essentially all the brand guide essentials and then I'll also be creating some collateral which is what I'll be doing in this video that will include let me get to my notes here we go that will include a menu so like I said it's not necessarily a sit-down restaurant but it is a food hall. So there are places to sit. So I wanna provide the option of a takeaway menu. Um, I'm thinking something narrow and sleek. They do have a limited menu, so it, there's not much going on with it. So they don't need a whole lot, but I would like to create something that people take away. I'm thinking a four by nine rack card or something like that. On the back of that, I want to create a while you wait kind of game, some kind of trivia or something. Before I continue, I forgot to mention that no skips basically is a reference to music. like all hits no misses right and so one of the things that they wanted in their refresh or in their branding was more incorporation of the music aspect they didn't know how to incorporate it and they didn't want to do it in the logo necessarily because like I said before and as you probably know a logo is meant to identify and not tell you exactly what it is that the place does or whatever so with that in mind this is what I came up with for their assets so I said the menu and when I create the menu because it's limited I do want to make some kind of reference to a top five or something like that on the menu because I, ideally if they only have five menu items I think that would be dope to, to label them as top five you know um, additionally on the back of the menu I want to incorporate some kind of waiting something to do while you wait I don't know if y'all ever been to Cracker Barrel or a store like Cracker Barrel or a restaurant like Cracker Barrel I know a lot of us feel a way about Cracker Barrel that's neither here nor there. Cracker Barrel has the little peg games. I used to steal them all the time. Don't tell nobody. They have the little games that you play on the table while you wait for your food. When I went to visit No Skips, I go to that food hall all the time. And so you go order your food and you go sit down and wait. Everyone has a buzzer. When your buzzer buzzes, you go get your food, right? Familiar concept. Here, I thought it would be cool to have something to do while you wait to engage further with the brand itself. I think like, um, I think acknowledging all these touch points, especially when you're in an area that has other businesses around, I want people to stay focused on my establishment while they're in this food hall. So I think a game like that would be cool. Now, as far as the game, I'm not sure if that would be like trivia or like a crossword or something like that. I don't know if there's some kind of thing where you return your menus and the game on the back, whatever you filled in, gives you some kind of entrance into a prize later down the line. I don't know. I didn't think that far yet, but there will be a game on the back of the menu for while you're waiting. Tray paper, so tray paper, food paper. Your food is served on trays if you get it to stay. And so I want to, the paper that lines the tray, I want to incorporate some branding onto that. That may be a pattern, that may be the logo. I'm not 100% sure yet, but we'll look at some ideas there. Social posts, of course, or social media right now is just um, pictures of the food itself and, you know, real like casual 
Um, I would like to make that more interactive and incorporate the music more into that. So how do we feel about playlists or how do we feel about, uh, I mentioned in my last video, having, and I'll pull up my Pinterest right now. I mentioned in my last video, like how can we present the food in a way that looks like music posters or an album cover or something like that. And so that is something that I would incorporate in the social media. Now, they could be repurposed for print in real life. I'm not sure how they would use those because, again, limited space um, in real life in their establishment. And so I don't know if having posters is feasible or whatever the case may be. But definitely for social, I want to incorporate making some kind of musical-looking presentation of their food. Especially when introducing a new food item to the menu, I wanted to feel like a, a album drop or something like that. I don't know. These are just ideas, okay? And then lastly, maybe considering stickers for the buzzers, since all the establishments have buzzers, I just don't know how they work in there. And so I'll design a sticker, but I'm not sure that you know they can actually use them on the buzzers. So that's just something to think about. Just a quick review of what we did last time. This is my Pinterest board, and so I started to pull some ideas on um, what the presentation of the food could look like on social. Um, I like this a lot. Um, I mostly like this because it's colorful and bold. No Skips is kind of the opposite. It's black and white with pops of color, but I think it'll have the same kind of effect. This is clean, straight to the point. The The copy is clear, and the, the food looks great. So <laughs> I like that. This same exact idea is just very bold. I like the illustration aspect to it. I don't know if I would do that here because I don't think that is the tone that we're going for, but... Um, and I talk more about the tone and all that in the previous video. I will link that down below, of course, and there'll be a card right here for that video. But yeah, I don't know if that's the case here, but I do like the incorporation of it. And again, it is very bold and simple. There's not a ton going on. The food is presented by itself. The graphics are separate. That may be something I want to consider, but based on my idea, I think I want to kind of marry the two in a way that's not too playful, but just enough and shareable and like just cool. I also pulled some ideas for the menu. Again, I want a really simple menu. And so I like how this looks. I particularly like the, the bold title, the pop of color. Simple, clear to the point. Don't like the size of dimension for just for no skips itself. The menu's just so small, there's no need to have this big size piece of paper, but I like that. Um, same thing here, not necessarily, it's like more of the opposite. Instead of being black on white, it is black on a color, which may work for them. Um, they have like this lime green color existing in their palette currently. It currently is a neon, but they clearly like the color, the idea of bright colors um, and how they can get close to that in print. So I'm wondering if having something eye-catching like a bright green menu is something that they would consider or something that I think would look cool. So yeah. Lastly, we have these ideas for, like I said, how to present the food. I like the overlay factors. I like the um, the in the incorporation of like handwritten text on there, just like photos looking like they're actually pasted onto there. Um, the the darkness of them with the pops of color. It's following the same theme. So that's that. Now with the logo itself, I just did an update. On it, this is what I did in the last video. This is their original logo, um, and I just literally just updated it um, as best as I could. I just manipulated the type on top. I chose a similar script, or I chose the same combination of types of type, types of fonts, whatever um, that they previously had, but updated it to make it look more modern and to make the composition work better together. I think there is a clear difference between these two. Maybe this will be better to compare to. I mean, there's a clear difference between these two. This just looks a little cleaner, um, but still their original idea. They might not use any of this at all, but if they do, great. If not, cool. So I think the first thing I'm going to work on, I want to go straight into the social posts themselves. So the first thing I need to do it's fine, pictures of some food. They don't currently have like a photo database of the food they offer, so I'm gonna be guessing um, some types of foods. Like this looks cool, I'll download this. That does not look like the mac and cheese that they have, but I'll download it. Um, 
and we're looking for like takeaway mac and cheese. Some of this is not, everybody can't make mac and cheese. I'll tell you that much. Let me um, go to Google images. This is looking better. I like this picture. I don't know how great, I don't know how easy it'll be for me to isolate it, but I'm gonna take this. We're gonna get a couple pictures of that. In case one doesn't work, the next one might. Okay, apparently there are no appealing photos of mac and cheese for, in, in my opinion. They also have um, Southern collard greens. I don't, are, is there any other type of green that isn't Southern? I'm unsure. The other thing is that I don't want to present, the, I don't want to present the food in a way that looks unlike what they give you in the, at, at the place. So I'm trying to be like really wary of that. I don't want to show a big pan of greens on a social media post if that's not what you're getting. This is okay. Again, not what I want, but it's okay. Let's go back to Unsplash. Yeah, I don't want the whole thing. Do I have to put that they're cooked? Are we serious? And now we're looking at green juice and spinach. Okay. See, this is why, um, yeah, Unsplash is not going to do it today. They're showing their corn. This juice, this juice slaps. This peach lemonade, I might go get some today. But I'm also, I'm going to use this picture. The cornbread, okay. I know that's right. All right, so now that I have my pictures pulled. I'm going to open up Photoshop. In case you're wondering, I'm doing this in Photoshop because I am using photos. If I'm using photos, it's going in Photoshop. If it is type or vector base, it goes in Illustrator. If I'm manipulating photos of any kind, raster base, Photoshop. Remember that. Remember that. Okay. And let's make a new file. I'm going to use artboard 1080 1350. If you don't know, that is the portrait size Instagram post. These are a little more dynamic or better for me to work with, in my opinion, because they take up more of the screen if people are scrolling through their feed. Um, the only thing you would have to consider is making sure the bulk of your information fits within the square that is shown on the profile or at least that the square that is shown on the profile looks good and nothing's cut off so that way it doesn't look weird on your page but it also will take up more space on the timeline. Hope that makes sense as well. All right, so the reason why I'm using our boards is so that I can work with everything in one workspace similar to how I would in Illustrator. You'll see what it looks like once I start making more than one. I think I'm gonna include like six different posts here or six styles, um, maybe four, maybe six. Just we'll see how the ideas come out. Before I get started here, let's go ahead and identify our type and we're gonna make a brand sheet for ourselves so that we know what um, our specific hex codes and all that stuff is. So I'm gonna make this brand sheet and I will BRB. Boom, okay, this is what we're working with for, I just scared my dog. <laughs> this is what we got so far for a brand sheet. Now granted, I'm moving in a complete reverse order kind of because this is um, kind of on a time crunch. It's not like my full process, but um, this is what I've brainstormed so far throughout the rest of this process. Colors, the, the type, all that stuff. So I'm just putting onto a sheet. Why can't I zoom? Oh, I'm putting onto a sheet what I think is working right now. Now the colors definitely need to be adjusted. Um, one, I don't believe they are as accessible as they should be. And two, we'll run into some issues like a lot of these cannot be used on the lighter color. Are we establishing that everything is only used on black? What does that mean? As far as accessibility to have a brand that is largely color or white on black, um, I don't think, I think we'll need to have an alternative. And so I will need to address that later. But for now, I think in order to get me to think about those things, I wanna jump right into designing some stuff and then running into issues and fixing accordingly. This is what we have for that. Um, I just laid out the colors that were established. I put the hex code so that I have easy access to them. I will create a library for this so that when I'm working in Photoshop, it won't be as um, hard to work with. So let's do that right now while I'm talking. And um, as far as everything else in here, it's just the typefaces. What I added for the type is basically just um, 
the typefaces that are used in the logo. And then I also use Zegular. It's one of my favorite sans serif fonts. It's super clean. Um, it has a bunch of different weights. I think it looks great. And I think it will look dope with the type of design style that I'm going for. Now, of course, again, rules and guidelines will have to be established when using the type. So I don't think that Zegular should be used like with, I don't even know how to pronounce it, grooches, whatever that is. I don't think that should be used all the time together. Um, I don't think Calgary script should be used often. I do like the numbers and the the symbols in Calgary script. They remind me of, and I've designed something like this before, but they remind me of like, I don't know if this is specific to New York, but the same way I felt about the wheat pastings in the city of like music artists and albums and things like that, posters, I think of the old for sale signs or the airbrush signs or whatever they have this is like the font that they use or similar where it'll be like on sale um 99 cent or whatever i'll show examples here but that's what that reminds me of and it'll apply somehow so i did want to continue using that outside the logo into the brand but i, I think sparingly in the brand will make the most sense as you just saw i added the colors from the palette into this library here I will save this as a graphic, and I guess I'll save this one too, just in case. Maybe, I don't know about that one. I'll save this one with the white though, for sure. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead into Photoshop. When you go into Photoshop and you open up your libraries, so you see when I open the library, everything that I just saved over there is now over here. So it should be easier to work with. I just went ahead and dropped in one of the images that I saved earlier of this mac and cheese that looks all right, kind of good. One thing about Photoshop beta, everything's a click of a button now. I don't have to use the lasso tool or the pen tool to remove this background. I just gotta click remove background and it's gonna figure it out for me. That's not the best, but it's good enough for this. All right, this is good enough. We're gonna move this to the bottom. Now, what I did do off camera, I found some textures from Envato Elements. Of course, I'm going to give the rundown again. Again, this is not sponsored. Envato Elements is a website where you can find a, a wide variety of assets that'll help you with any design project, video editing project, whatever, they got it. I chose chalk and like, um, like, I'm over the crumpled paper thing, but I chose that because obviously it goes with our theme somewhat. So here's some crumpled stuff going on. Um, and then I chose, and then for the chalk textures, I chose that because I guess maybe it's the white on black everywhere that makes it feel like their menu is set up like a hand, like a chalk situation or whatever. So that's just what was top of mind. But either way, it'll work here. So let's give you an example. If I were to put, drop this into here, and put it over our image and adjusted the blending mode, it'll give it like different, you know, a texture that would look better for what we're working with. I'm thinking for the background the color, we're gonna go ahead and use the dark color because that's just what they currently do. Now I'm gonna go back to our inspiration so we can look at some stuff. One, Large text, obviously, like one big thing to say, obviously, there is a lot of repetition going on. One of these posts, and I've done this a lot in designs, it's like trendy, I guess, but doing something like, where is it, where is it? This in the background of an image is trendy. The circle, like those are all trendy things. I don't know if I wanna stick with that or not. I don't know, undecided. Um, I do like the hierarchy and the introduction of different things like there's just something in every spot as far as text goes and so that being said I'm thinking on this I would want to put in some words in random spots so I don't know what the words are yet let's say we use the word tasty we shouldn't but let's say we did I had the idea of naming a lot of their stuff after like some kind of song or something. The first thing I thought of when I thought of mac and cheese was Return of the Mac, obviously. And right now what we're designing is reading super flat of the... So we will need to add some layering. 
We'll need to add some layering. We'll need to add some texture in the background. I'll probably be using the same textures that I used before. Um, I do want this to be slightly layered, so we're gonna throw this, this text behind everything else that that's in there. What does it look like for Mac to be in green? Not too bad. I know for a fact I want to repeat the idea of having like some text that does this. Um, just give some variety on the page and then I'm thinking we'll do a, a lip sum up here. Does this, auto yep, it automatically does lip sum. For stuff like this, because we're driving the point of music home and fusing it with food, it's punny, it's whatever. The copy's gonna be everything here, right? And so I don't know if that means like on top where that lip sum paragraph is, if we're like putting some of the lyrics or a spin on some of the lyrics to the song that we're referencing or whatever the case may be. I don't know. I think this is a good start for now. Um, definitely got my ideas out onto the virtual page. So I'm gonna play around with this some more and then I'll come back later when I have some more social assets for you. <laughs> So far, I probably clocked in about two hours to this total, maybe, I don't know. Not including what we worked on in the last video, but that's where we're at. After this, I'm taking the deepest, I might sleep for three days. Isn't my cup so cute? Oh my God. This is where we are with the social graphics. I only did three because it gets the point across as far as what our um, templates will look like. The way I'm setting this off, it's going to be in a deck of recommendations. The recommendations will look something like a brand guide, but it will compare what they currently have to what I'm recommending. Then once I send that off to them, I'm, they will sign off on whatever it is that they like and don't like. And because this is pro bono work, I'm not doing the full execution of the assets, but I will be providing um, templates and a, a brand guide for them based on what they selected. Um, so they can then go on and hire someone or work with me further or whatever the case may be. Um, but this is where we are with the social graphics. Now, one thing I hate, I'll say this much, a lot of stuff that I envision in my head doesn't always come to life the way I envision it. Now, granted, I am on a shorter timeline. If I sat and worked through this for the amount of time I normally would with a client, this will look totally different. And one day I'm gonna take y'all through that entire process. What I do, what I dislike and what I would change um, and potentially will before I deliver it is I'm not a fan of the use of the all black logo. That's number one. Um, I did add another color to the palette because I like the color of the, their lemonade, but I did not like the combination of the pink that they use on a white background or a light background. And I wanted to give an option to not use black or dark backgrounds all the time. So that's that. I started to add other elements onto here, but it started getting too busy because I had to keep in mind that the food is the main focus no matter what. Even though we have a gimmick involved, the food is the focus. But anyway, like I said before, the copy is important here. They would choose how they want to address or call each food item, but they do have some reference to music. These are all songs or lyrics. And um, yeah, that's that. So what I'm going to work on next is, oh my God, first of all, I did this whole document, don't be like me. This is how tired I was. I did this entire document without saving it once. So next I'm gonna work on the menu. The menu will not have photos. I'm gonna do the menu in Illustrator. This is the correct dimension of the menu that I want and I also will have a back to this menu so we'll duplicate that artboard. Now I'm thinking, I did mention before a lime green menu. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna keep it simple. 
We're going to do a black or a dark color background because I'm like making up copy and stuff as I go. I'm not going to actually include actual like menu items that make sense because I don't know off the top of my head what they are. Because right now we're just throwing the stuff on the artboard and seeing what comes of it. Um, so something like this, oh wow, we had the same idea. But anyway, I was coming on here to look at, like you see how these things are in like a chart basically or separated by lines. And then this one on the side is kind of just listed. I don't know which one I like best for this purpose, but I'm inclined to believe I like the one on the right better because we have such a small menu. I don't know. But anyway, so on the front, I'm going to play with this and figure out what that menu is going to look like. And then on the back, we'll have our, our while you wait game, which I think for the sake of simplicity and just to illustrate to them that there would be a game on the back, I'm going to do like a crossword on the back or a word search rather, maybe a word search. Um, and then, yeah, they, they'll be able to determine like what game makes the most sense. I'll include some ideas in the actual deck itself, but as far as the design, I'm going to uh, just put something in there so that they can get the idea. The last thing I had was the tray paper. Now for the social post, I was also going to do playlists. Um, I may include that later as well, and you'll see me design those if I include them. Um, but I'm kind of stuck on that because I had to think about the strategy behind the playlist. What are we sharing it for? Like, I don't know. I have to think a little further on that one. But I'll get to that if I design it. And then the last thing was the tray paper, which I think I'm going to do a simple pattern with their logo. So I'm going to go ahead and make those things off camera. And I will come back and we'll take a look at everything. This shit was all I knew. You and me only. I did it all for you. But I guess things change It's funny how someone else's success brings pain When you're no longer involved That person has it all And you just stuck standing there But I'm gonna need you to say something, baby Say something, baby Say something, baby I'm gonna need you to say something, baby I'm gonna need you to say something, baby I am the topic of conversation It's a celebration It's toast to the fact that I moved out my mama basement To a condo downtown Cause it's all about location Sit and drink wine and watch Californication of life You should have been here to kick it with me We could have split this whole thing up 50-50 But now I'm at the 4040 40 getting bitches tipsy Killing shit to ever so talented Mr. Ripley How I go from being a man that you argue with Alright y'all, I think I'm gonna stop here before I stare at it for too long I'm definitely gonna go back and like update stuff I'm, I'm gonna keep picking at it, of course But I need to figure out the best way to present it to the client so that it makes sense But as as of right now in this moment without further ado this is where we are with the no skips refresh much for watching as usual if you liked it give it a thumbs up of course subscribe comment all that good stuff i will film another video of me walking through the presentation that i send them just so that you all can see how i present client work i have not shown that yet i don't think on this channel and so that might be uh valuable to you all but um till then i will see you in the next video bye <laughs>